We want the Gauteng government says the energy crisis playing out across the country could soon be a thing of the past for the province's residents. The province has announced a number of infrastructure projects at the tune of 1.2 billion rand, which it says for them to succeed, this will need public-private partnerships. The 1.2 billion that we have is sitting with us as treasury and we will be entering into partnerships and conversations across the province with different key players to say how is this money going to be spent how is it going to be utilized and of course some of the initiatives that will be spoken to it's exactly where we are going to put this money one of the best initiatives that we have also included in the budget speech is the project in mirafong the development bank of southern africa will play a critical role in bringing the role players together our mandate as the DBSA is to focus on and to bring solutions for sustainable infrastructure both here in South Africa and the rest of the African continent. Um, and in that vein, roughly 40% of the work that we do is broadly within the energy sector. And another 30% is within municipalities. You know, and both of those coming together here in Hauteng you know, are going to play a, a very important role in, in, in solving this crisis. Experts say it's important to bring on the private sector for infrastructure development. Private and public combined as a proportion of GDP with the lowest level at around 13%. The numbers have trickled down and they are worsening. So we're not seeing the traction. It doesn't matter what we have done over the last few years. But overall, what we're seeing, even with the investment coming from the DBSA, even with the investment coming from the provinces and the infrastructure investments, it's simply not yielding the traction that we need to push up gross fixed capital formation. This has been described as a long-needed intervention that will bring all sectors of the economy in Gauteng together. We are calling on the big corporates to say, corporates, Come down and you know, you know, uh, partner with the township businesses. Do the skills, uh, you know, development. Do the enterprise development, so that uh, businesses in the township and also entrepreneurs in the township are able to you know to participate in this project. We need to just make sure that we deliver on our promises, and we must make sure that we cut uh, the red tape. Uh, we must look at the current legislation in terms of as well as how do we, from a government perspective, when they announce programs, how do they make sure that they efficiently. Uh, give, get them to market. The roundtable has been described as a platform of practical outcomes for the success of the earmarked infrastructure projects and the creation of well-needed jobs. Private businesses, government and township role players have committed to forming an economic compact that would ensure the earmarked projects this under the Gauteng Financing Agency come through for an economy that has been battered by the rolling blackouts with Gauteng giving an assurance that the 1.2 billion rand that is set aside for these energy projects will not be looted. Katlero Lorodi, SABC News, Midrand.